are these signs of another 2008 marketing bust coming up soon? Uh, no, <laughs> to be blunt, no. Um, I actually don't have that slide on here, but I will give you guys some quick insight on that. Um, no. Um, and, and a lot of people uh, support me on that. And what I mean by that is, is that uh, we're expecting to see home prices continue to, to climb. Um, and we see this from a lot of people. Um, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, National Association of Realtors, Zellman and Associates, which is a big uh, uh, firm, Mortgage Bankers Association. A lot of people out there are predicting that home prices are going to continue to escalate through this and escalate through 2021. And uh, so I see a lot of that predictions here. And the other thing that really shows that is, is this little slide right here. Um, and the reason I say that is because right now, when housing affordability is at an all-time high, mortgage applications continue to rise, showings are still continuing to rise, and the interest rates are low. This all equates to a, a massive amount of housing affordability, which makes a home buying right now very, very good. So when the, the inventory of houses is so low, uh, which it is right now, um, the market will continue to climb. Now, nobody has a crystal ball. We don't know if that'll end. We don't know if they'll ever uh, put a kibosh to these low interest rates. We don't know what all that looks like. Um, but right now, at least, especially through this quarter, um, we're not going to see that. And honestly, we haven't seen much slowdown from the amount of showings. Um, and then even in our local market, and this was just pulled a couple hours ago, this market watch stats right here, um, just to show the pending listings are still outgrowing the new listings. Um, so in our market, it's not going to see that now. Um, doesn't mean that nationally, um, you're going to see some slowdowns in other markets in like New York City, for example. I think that market will rebound. Um, now that market right now is a, is a little bit more flat and it's because a lot of people are, are you're seeing a, a move a lot a much bigger move of people coming out of the cities into more of a suburb area uh, like where we're at in Pennsylvania where the housing affordability is a, a little bit more uh, from those people in New York so to answer that question no I don't see that initially here